Hey guys, Jeff Howard here at KiteBoarding.com and FixMyKite.com. So what I want to show here is the mixer system adjustment uh, or speed system of the Fly Surfer. Fly Surfer calls it a mixer system, whatever you want to call it. Getting these adjusted in a foil kite is really serious in how that kite handles and flies. And over time, however it was loaded, uh, you got overloaded one day, light winds another, whatever it is, lines settle in and settling in their fibers and when that happens adjustments can tweak out and on a foil it's very serious and it's so easy to make these adjustments to keep your kite in tune you can do it at the park you can do it anywhere this is very simple and very important so try it you will be amazed how well you'll keep that kite flying so anyway what you want to do here on the fly surfer you got the bridle system and where you connect in your fly lines these are the rings so anchor these rings down larks had a line behind it hook it onto a tree whatever as long as these rings are even now what you want to do is come down your mixer system make sure that you get your lines all separated out and on these systems you have an a b and c so set those up in line so i've got a b and c here and then you've got z which is your break this is a non-adjustable line this is a static so no worry about that one Everything factors down to your A, B's, and C's. A's are connected to the front, B's are in the center, and then C's, so on, down the line connected to that wing. And that changes that effect. So what you want overall is come up here and we'll see here, you've got A, B, and C, and they're all labeled. You want these to be even. So you can see that this one is clearly out of adjustment. Your first adjustment is going to be your C line. Start with the C. Your A is static, it is set. So the other two will adjust out to it. So again, you want these even. Start with your C. Why the C? Because there are multiple adjustments on this C that change the angle of attack in your, in your mixer system. So it also adjusts that B slightly by doing that. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna let that C out to bring it out to A. So you go up here, find the ring and the knot, and I'm going to scoot that ring down slightly, then seat it back up against it, and then I'm going to come back out in tension and see where I'm at. I'm a little bit closer, so I'm going to go back to that same knot, let it out just a little bit more, seat everything in, and come back. And there I have my C is out. Now you see here's A and C. They're pretty much right in line now, perfectly in line. It has also let B out slightly, but you can see I still need B to come out just a little bit. So I'm going to go back to the B knot, tension that ring down, put load back on it again. And there you go. Now we're back into tolerance. A nice even pressure. I'm sitting here combing these bridles and that's just keeping constant tension to see where we're at. That is clearly intolerance right there. That will make a huge difference on how your kite handles and performs in the air. So that's Jeff Howard here at kiteboarding.com to show you how to adjust the mixer system of a Soul and Sonic on a fly surfer. If you have any questions, let us know.